So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's going to be a playthrough of a new game that is currently being built within the 4chan forum community. It's a uh, Vivian James video game. It doesn't have an official name right now, um, but it's a really interesting game just because it's a big fan of uh, Metroid and the later Castlevania kind of series design style. Um, it really invokes that. So here's a little playthrough of it and to give you an idea of uh, what might be coming from that. Hey guys, this is Proto Man of Gaming Well Wasted, and we're here today to do a little playthrough of the, I believe it's the third build now of the uh, Vivian James video game that 4chan has been cooking up from behind the scenes. And uh, there's no official name for this right now. We're just pretty much calling it the Vivian game, uh, Vivian James video game. Although on the title here is Vivian Video Test. So uh, for those that don't know what this is exactly, um, it's just more or less a game that is put together from some fine people at the 4chan message boards. And it's essentially the character that was created by 4chan to be used uh, in the the young fine capitalists uh, Indiegogo game that's coming up and uh, 4chan donated a lovely sum of money and this character is happening so I'm gonna just play through the build of the game right now it's actually quite interesting and that's why I wanted to do a video about it just the little nuances and everything and point out all the little cool things so we'll just get it started now the game itself um, kinda handles like a Metroid game or the later Castlevania games in the series and you control Vivian James and she has her little 4chan uh, logo on her on her headband there and she has the 4chan colors on her sweater and she is just a video game loving girl she's very simple nothing sexist about her at all she just loves video games she will play dead or alive and not bad an eye at the jiggling boobs and she will play super mario and not bad an eye at a captured princess she just likes video games and having fun um... i'll just show her standing motion here for a moment because if you actually if you don't touch her she actually uh... has a idle animation which is pretty cool we'll just uh... wait for that any moment now. Come on, Vivian. <laughs> there we go. She busts out her uh, blue 3DS there. And if you actually listen carefully, um, it sounds like she's playing uh, the 3DS game uh, Senra uh, Karuga. Uh, excuse me. Senra Kagura Burst, which was a. Uh, very busty kind of uh, jiggly beat em up for the 3DS and Sengura, uh, Senra Kagura Burst is uh, definitely something that goes against uh, what the feminists are all yelling about so the fact that she's playing it also cements her enjoyment of just fun video games now her abilities she has a Wiimote that shoots messages and if you look at the bottom right there, uh, she has a battery meter, like a Wiimote, that slowly goes down as she uses it. And it comes back up when you don't. If you use it all the way, you paralyze your ability, and it takes a while for it to come back before you can use it again. It has to recharge. And she has her health. She could get hit three times, although she will pick up little life pills to put up her energy if needed. She could shoot in all directions, which is pretty cool. And the little messages that they say there, well, you could pause it yourself and try to see what uh, I tried myself. And it changes every time. I don't know how much code of messages there are, but it's pretty impressive. Uh, the little robots are seen there are the little Reddit uh, mascots. So there's a little bit of a uh, hidden message in that right there in the story. Um, she has the main Wiimote, like I said. And then if you push start, pasta P, which is what the Wiimote is, it's play on paste. Uh, then you have V, which is Rage, which is a uh, a close-range melee attack, and that's actually a homage to uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, specifically um, the Stardust Crusaders Part 3 arc, where uh, the character Jotaro has his stand Star Platinum, and, uh, and she even points like Jotaro. <laughs> now, um, when you use this, it obviously takes a lot of energy. Uh, this one because it does a lot of damage too. You can already see I kind of maxed it out and now I'm slowly getting it back. So that one's the the most powerful attack. And then the last one, which is Bait, which is B from 4chan, which is the random boards. Uh, she has like a kind of a grappling hook ability. You hold it up and they can shoot and grab things. And it's obviously it's 
to make a nod to the bait meme uh, item uh, item the bait uh, the bait meme uh, image where it's like oh you're baiting a forum and I, I like to believe that this was this this mechanic here is kind of inspired from uh, Umihara Ka uh, Kawase which is a uh, it was originally a Super Famicom game that then later on uh, later on became a 3DS game where you used like a grappling hook kind of thing for puzzles and I guess because of the little fish logo too coupled with the fact that it's with the bait meme image invokes that even more so uh, I'm just gonna go through the level for now uh, see how it goes along there's the little he uh, healing capsules also I like to believe that the uh, that the grappling hook is going to be used for possibly something like speed runs later because there, there's tons of these. Here, I'll show you an example because if you just you could connect, and skip ahead really. So I can imagine you could do crazy speed runs with this if you wanted to. And considering it's a Metroid kind of game, would not surprise me. Secret ending maybe, possibly. So yeah, very uh, Wii Nintendo inspired background. Here we have a little nod to Super Metroid here. No, you're too big. Go away. So for those who didn't get that reference, that's uh, Ridley from Metroid, and more specifically, it's homaging uh, Super Metroid. Uh, the very first level when captures the the Metroid, so and she's not too happy about that. And here's another Metroid reference. Now you could either jump up here or you could use the grappling hook. And you get it's called the Metroid Crawl, but it's actually uh, the Morph Ball from Metroid, and you hold down and jump. And you could turn into the Metroid Ball, so you could get through tight places, and that's going to lead to now we backtrack, and uh, we're going to be able to go through those holes that were at the beginning of the level. Again, this is all very—it's a very small, but just beta test. So obviously, we're going to be going through this very quickly, but I'm just here to kind of point out also all the little, cool little things that exist in this. Very cool stuff. Nice and uh, nice uh, sprite work. The animation is great. Attention to detail, making nods to all the other kind of games and stuff. So now you have these little aliens here from the Reddit robots, and it looks like they have the ability to downvote. <laughs> Again, a little nod to that. And here also, this is, a, this is a super obscure one. I don't know if a lot of people are going to get this one, but there's a fridge here. Uh, I don't know what's going to be used for yet. So far, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I think, I want to think, because of the whole purpose of this game, that it's a reference to uh, Green Lantern number 54, which had the uh, woman in the refrigerator thing, which was something Gail Simone talked about, about women in refrigerators, and they're just killed and put aside. So I think it's kind of a nod to that. What it's going to be used in this game, I don't know yet. Maybe it's going to be a healing area. Maybe it's going to be a shop. We'll see then. Uh, now we're going to have like the boss battle, so Mega Man style entrance. We got the giant boss. Now let's see if I can trigger some of the boss's abilities. So he obviously has that extending punch there. I'm just going to take the damage because we have infinite lives. I'm trying to trigger everything. Then he has, come on, laser. Do the laser. Well, I die like Mega Man. <laughs> I meant to show you guys all the abilities. I'll try again. That'll be a quick blaze after. There we go. So it's the fire in my laser meme. That one. So take a hit there. These guys actually at the bottom here, they kind of exist to prevent you from spamming on the ground, but at the same time, uh, they're used also to farm life if you're kind of dying, although it doesn't happen frequently. Here, I'll just kill myself and make my life easier. <laughs> and we're going to use the stand V. Oh, 
Now there's actually two endings to this uh, to this playtest. If you beat it regularly with just the remote, you just get the regular ending. If you beat it with uh, the stand here, the V Rage, you kind of get a fist of a fist of the North Star, a uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure ending with Jotaro, how he usually uh, points at his villains before he kills them. He gives the famous speech. Cool. I'll try to get without dying. No promises. died there. I'll get it, guys. Don't worry. The sacrifices of trying to teach you guys everything at the same time. <laughs> All the little cool things. This game is amazing for what it is. Let's get back to that. Stand power. You pissed me off. Done even in the <laughs> Iraqi style of art. So you get some story here. What were you thinking? Why would you try to invade our board? I'm really sorry. We didn't mean any harm. We didn't mean to invade. We didn't have a choice. We were driven out of our home. Our mods were, have been brainwashed. And we started, del started deleting all our posts. Wait, what? Dun dun dun. Oh, look at Reddit, so happy. It was about last night. We were happily posting on our own board. When a strange woman wearing a black mantle appeared. We will never refer to it as a black mantle, even though it's obviously purple. And they're making Zoe Quinn, I might add, look a lot hotter than she really is. So, I don't know about that, but... Anyways. One of our mods tried to talk to her. And evidently Zoe gave him a hand job. I guess. Very sloppy hand job. To be continued. But yeah, that's that. And uh, this game's incredible. Very, very well done for what it is. Um, my hat's off to the guys at 4chan, everyone who put it together. Uh, the one thing I just wanted to mention is uh, there is a few little bugs here and there. Um, Specifically, when the idle animation happens, it kind of for, it kind of thinks that the character is facing right, so the the bow stays uh, in the one position even after she puts away the DS. But that's about all I can really point out. Otherwise, it's a flawless game, really well done, very well done, uh, and I'd love to see more of it. So this is Proto Man. Hats off to you guys, man! Great stuff. Until then, take care.